This integral is pretty tough. Don't get too afraid, though. It's the math guy, Steve. Evaluate the integral of dx over x squared plus 9 to the 3 halves. So let's use a trig sub, right? Let x equal 3 tangent of theta. Well, then we know that dx would equal the derivative of tangent secant squared, 3 secant squared of theta d theta. And we get that x squared plus 9 to the 3 halves power ends up being 3 tan of theta squared plus 9 to the 3 halves power. But that simplifies to 9 tan squared of theta plus 9 to the 3 halves power. Factoring out a 9, we get this is 9 to the 3 halves times tan squared of theta plus 1 to the 3 halves. This gives me 27 times. We know tan squared of theta plus 1 is just secant squared. And so that's secant squared of theta to the 3 halves, which is just secant cubed. And so we get 27 secant cubed of theta. So using all that, it becomes the integral of 3 secant squared of theta, d theta, over, this is 27 secant cubed, 27 secant cubed of theta. Simplifying, we get this is 1 ninth times the integral of 1 over secant of theta, d theta. But we know 1 over secant is the cosine, right? And so this becomes 1 ninth of the integral of cosine of theta, d theta. We know the integral of cosine, of course, is just sine of theta. So this is 1 ninth sine of theta. Now we're done integrating, don't forget the plus c. And now we back substitute. So using the x equals 3 tangent of theta, then our triangle would tell us that, okay, means the tan of theta is x over 3. And so that would be opposites over adjacent. I mean, the hypotenuse is the square root of x squared plus 9. So to find the sine of theta, we would be the opposites over the hypotenuse. And so this gives me x over 9 square roots of x squared plus 9 plus c. Always remember, math is everywhere.